family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine, it comes from over 200 100 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information there compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I'm waiting in my cold cell. We're going to open the phones up as well for... West Africans that live in the U.S. or Africa. What's your view on this uh, for U.S. military personnel, National Guard? Obama's talking about sending you over there. What's your take on that? What do you think about the regular Army 5,000 being sent to uh, five different, well, they're mainly in three of the five uh, African countries hit by Ebola without proper hazmat gear? Here's the toll-free number. 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539, 877-789-2539. We'll open the phones up to everybody else as well, 877-789-2539. I want to go to Spiro and John and others. John's a chemical ops specialist. Uh, wants to talk about Ebola vector spreading. Uh, we have an aircraft mechanic wants to comment. Yeah, I'd really love to hear people that work in the aircraft industry having to be around this stuff coming in from West Africa. The vomit everywhere. Oh, the guy died vomiting. Everything's fine. I was reading the New York Post. It was like minutes after they landed, they declared it was not Ebola with no test. That, that really freaks me out. There's no danger this nurse that had Ebola that flew on four or five aircraft flights uh, with a fever gave it to anybody. Bull baloney. Bravo, Sierra. Again, I want people to wake up to this and take action now before it starts spreading. The feds are going to start taking action once it's out of control as a power grab. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. But now the Pentagon has prepared its, quote, strike team for Ebola. Kurt Nemo has an article on it at InfoWars.com right now. Let's go to uh, Spiro and then to John. Spiro, you say you're an aircraft mechanic. Uh, are you talking to other folks that are having to clean up these planes? I know for three weeks in New York and other areas where folks are coming in from Africa, mainly vomiting everywhere, they don't want to clean up vomit from places hit with Ebola. Sounds like they're conspiracy theorists. I think they should get some chips and eat it like dip. I mean, Obama said there's nothing to worry about, right? Well, you know, I tell you what, it's uh, it's really concerning uh, to me and a lot of people I work with. I've been in the industry for 
more than 10 years now. Why? It only uh, kills 70% of people to get it. What are you worried about dying for? Obama played golf for four hours last night before having a 10-minute meeting on Ebola, and his Ebola czar didn't show up for it. What's wrong with that? How about Obama well, fly with all these Ebola patients, huh? Well, absolutely, all right? There's, there's no big deal. Well, he says that he uh, hugs and kisses the nurses, which totally gives you a false sense of security. Yeah, you know, and, you, 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 and, and by the way, if you have a business, you didn't build it either. Do you believe any of that? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the uh, I, I work for, uh, I'm a contractor, and uh, we do third-party maintenance for major domestic airline here. And, uh, you know, so the, the facility I work at issued a memo in, where it states uh, that they, they don't, perceive the Ebola to be any kind of a threat to the employees or contractors oh, or good, anything like great. that. You know, they haven't uh, issued any any kind of, you know, meetings or any kind of extra gear or, or anything. You know, they have these uh, uh, these UV lights that, that, that say that they can kill uh, the, the virus within uh, 10 minutes, you know. Well, that's actually true. That. That's actually true. Uh, are they running the UV lights through the planes? No, we don't have them. We need them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you know? got it, yeah measures in place, uh, you know, and then the, the World Health Organization came out and said that that one guy you were speaking about that died on the flight, uh, they said, oh, no, not Ebola. They, they were kind of alarmed by how, how can you come to that conclusion so quickly? That yeah, he's coming from time. Nigeria. He dies vomiting. Everything's fine. Don't be worried. You know, and I see people around here at work that, that don't, you know, think to wear just simple things like latex gloves when they're over there messing with the seats or whatever. And I go over there and I'm saying, you know, kind of halfway holding my breath on my way over there. But, I mean, I'm like, you know, hey, uh, maybe you should wear some gloves or a mask or something, you know. And well, you know, they're in the news saying people are canceling flights. It's already hitting the economy in fear. Right now, it hasn't spread massively. So, from the numbers I've seen, it's not that big an issue for the casual flyer. But if you're cleaning airplanes in New York or, or other East Coast places full of West Africans coming in and there's vomit and stuff... Absolutely, that's a major threat. God bless you. I appreciate your call. I mean, if you work in a major hospital, if you are a cop having to go once quarantining starts or you're an EMT, I mean, whoa. Look, it's nurses that are getting it. Anybody that comes in contact with these people in a first responder role is the number one group in danger. And they're not telling those people they're in danger. And that's going to cause a bigger loss in confidence when the Ebola starts spreading. And I say when, it's already spreading. I believe it's going to start spreading. I don't know how bad it's going to get, but clearly they're covering something up. The intellectual data shows it. The geopolitical data shows it. And my gut screams it. We'll see what happens. Maybe if we put enough attention on this, have a big enough strike, call enough attention to it, they may put measures in place that mitigate it. It could be a false flag with a simulant to create a bunch of fear and sell the vaccine they're coming out with in three months. I don't know. I just know this. The default positions are being ignored. John in Montana, what's your take on this? Yeah, hi, Alex. Um, my, my whole uh, thing here is with the disease stacking they got going on. Through the southwest border, they got a uh, whole bunch of illegal aliens coming out. And, and a bunch of weird viruses killing people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And with some of those is uh, included in the symptoms is coughing, sneezing, um, scabies will eat your skin. And Which creates the hysteria where everybody thinks someone with, with the flu has Ebola. So they're saying, get your flu shot and we won't quarantine you. But the flu shot's never been, been guessed properly to stop the flu. It's a total hoax. So what's going to happen is total hysteria this winter. Yeah. And people will start coughing with that do have Ebola, and people will become complacent. And that's when I can see the disease spreading um, well and truly uh, into... Ooh, that's a point I hadn't thought of. The flu, because Ebola has flu-like symptoms the first few weeks, will be the perfect cover for Ebola to spread. Absolutely. And with the people with the scabies and everything else, they're going to have open wounds on them. Um, other people are going to just assume that they've got the flu. And... As far as uh, vector spreading goes, these people all throughout the southwest border and these people that have Ebola, they're going to go ahead and meet, and they're, gonna, they're going to random locations, these, these illegal aliens. And that's exactly how you want to do it. You don't want to have it uh, to where it's in a predictable line. That's right. And, and the head of Southcom, General Kelly, says it'll probably go to South America and cause a huge flood across the border. So why isn't Obama beefing up the border? 
Again, I want it on record that when this gets out of control, if it does, who allowed it to happen? And hopefully, if enough people complain about this, the system may back off. Great points. Thank you so much. Um, we got a lot of callers here. Chris, Dr. Chuck, and many others. Uh, Dr. Chuck, who's a medical worker, wants to comment on this from South Carolina. Then we'll talk to Frank and others. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing today? Uh, just hoping we can try to figure out what's going on. What do you think is happening? A absolutely, buddy. Let me uh, let me just first preface that uh, I, I truly believe that this is all about the 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 concept of being able to uh, provide the vaccine, which is then going to get everybody sick ultimately. So I, I understand that. My wife is also in um, a, a more uh, confined healthcare job that she does, and she works for HCA, which is a rather large hospital organization here in America. And to give you some idea of who supports the CDC and funds them, let me just list off this from a bulletin that was put out a few days ago by HCA that was not for external distribution. Let me read it to you. The CDC Foundation, which funds the CDC operation, has received generous funding from a number of donors, such as the Paul G. Allen Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, ExxonMobil, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, the William and Flora Hewlett H.P. Packard folks. By the way, for those that don't know, these are all on-record eugenicists, all vaccine front company people. All global government promoters, the same people you hear that underwrite NPR. So amazing. Yeah, that's who's funding this as they're about to come out with a vaccine with God knows what in it. Wow, that's powerful. Send me that memo. Can you scan that or send that to uh, show tips at Infowars.com or whistleblowers at Infowars.com? I will, Alex. I will. And guess what? One of the other CDC Foundation donors is the HCA Hospital Foundation which has been certified as one of the Ebola hospitals for you to go to in downtown Augusta. Oh, yeah, and they put this known uh, Al Gore employee as the new czar, no medical training, no medical background, because but he is an expert in divvying up tens of billions of dollars a month in taxpayer money and giving it to the select groups like Bill and Melinda Gates and the hospital foundations and others, and that's how business really works as the public lives in the dark. Great job. You should write an article about that, brother. Great calls. All right, second hour coming up. More of your calls. Then CIA asset agent, Black Ops Commander Robert David Steele is coming up. Infowars.com. Chuck and Frank, you're up next in the next segment. Stay with us. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution. DNA.
DNA force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the InfoWar. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA force from InfoWars Life. 